So, today I have here the Napoli, the new um, tier 10 Italian big cruiser, but it's got 254mm guns. Now, Napoli is a strange experience that I have not quite got the hang of, because it is difficult. It requires pushing, or at least medium close range to do well. In this video, I have... Well, I used to run range, but I have actually opted for reload on my main guns because having the range, in my experience, just makes me sit too far back. And if I'm going to sit that far back, my guns aren't going to do anything except keep me spotted with bloom. So I've opted to go for reload mod in this game, specifically to stop that from happening. I do, however, have Sensinetti, so if I get a kill, it'll be half as good as getting range mod which it's more than enough for me. Now, from shooting here, I'm not spotted anymore after Girls Void Ducks behind the island, which means nothing's in the open, which is very surprising because normally I would expect to roll out for the cap. However, I should point out this match was played at like 10, which in the in the um, local time translates to 5 a.m. So probably has a f so I'm I'm guessing that has a that's a factor in why the um, teams have loaded up this way because it's 5 a.m. match made. So that's a SE Yoshino over there, and I need to get away from it because it's also loading AP, which is very bad. The Poli Citadel is not at all very well done. It's got a lot of armor, but the armor doesn't do anything against Citadel. It's, it doesn't do shit against Citadels. So, I smoke up here, heal, because my mod is telling me I have a full heal ready, and I need to get away. I'm sure I opt for this island, because hopefully it should cut me off from Venezia, which is actually one of the bigger problems, because that thing is has a lot of guns. And if it loads AP, I could be in for a bad time. I do have Expert Loader on Sensinetti though, so I just quick swap to AP, get a shot out on the Yoshino. Yep, two shell hits, two citadels, but the other seven shells on the salvo is completely gone. I take a shot ahead. I'm not... These torpedoes definitely would not have killed up for the Venezia smoke, because these torpedoes don't go very fast. I do have a skill that makes them go faster, and it's in Sensinetti, so it's enhanced. So they go 60 knots, which is not that slow, but it's not not ideal. It's not the best. I actually get a Citadel here on Venezia, because he's shot full broadside for his back guns, which I did not expect. I'm gonna just... Right, right now, there's no need to uh, maintain the speed in order to keep him within the ideal distance because my secondary's got to 9 kilometers, which is plenty. I wait here for a few seconds, just like one or two, because I know Venezia's gonna show a full broadside, get a nice 15.8k salvo in. And reload mod is coming in clutch actually, because I can get my shot out before Venezia turns. A few more citadels, 15.6k. Now, secondaries should have been able to kill this, but I did. But I, I didn't have a better target to shoot my main guns at anyway. So if I did, I would have. But I might have let the secondaries take care of it. But it was, it was better to be safe, and, safe than dead. I know the saying is safe and so, safe, better safe than sorry, but it's we're, we're past that now. Now, Gorozovoy is... You can, I can see some Gorozovoy shells coming in over the island. This Gorozovoy is going to be a, a bit... This Gorozovoy is going to keep pestering me for a while, actually. Which is a little bit annoying. Because he sticks around for quite a while. Now, actually, not bad dispersion here from the Poli. Landing a... I don't know how much damage shot that was. And somebody's wiped out the Yoshino, so... I'm just gonna push in on this bearing towards the Yamato and the Gorozovoy, 
hopefully corner the Yamato, get some damage out of him, because he's got 70,000 health. And I have a Grozo Boy to shoot on my way, so I can use AP on the Yamato, HG on the Grozo Boy, I have good options either way. And if you angle correctly, Napoleon is fairly tanky. If you misangle though, it will probably end up dead. So I need to just, just watch my angle. So this, that double fire there is what I mean when I say the Grozo Boy is going to be a bit annoying because he is essentially sitting right in front of a Shimakaze which is smoked up and he's shooting at me which is keeping him spotted but the Shimakaze is getting free shots on him and he, he, he's opted to, to keep shooting instead of um, escape. Shimakaze has just left the smoke though so which, uh, so which gives Grozo Boy an opportunity to hit back. I checked torpedoes for the Gross Boy's speed because he was fully angled before, which meant it was really hard to see the smokestacks, but now that he's broadside you can kind of see it. Yeah, I keep I keep referring to Gross Boy as a he, I don't know why I keep doing that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it. Probably just subconsciously. Now, if I recall correctly, 20,300 HP is less than what Z52 should have when taking SE, which is a little bit confusing. This is a risky smoke because I don't know how far out the Z52 has pushed. If the Z52 had fully had kept going at full speed, he might have gone. He might have come within 8.7, or if the Grozoi had moved, he might have come within 8.7. So this smoke would have been useless. I'm planning to use the island that's directly in front of me, well, in front of my ship, to get close to the Yamato, and also Shimakaze has a smoke in front, which I thought I could use to, um, well, as, as a curtain in front of my other smoke when this one runs out. But then I see Shimakaze bailing, which means that that's, he's either hunting damage or that smoke's about to run out. Which is very bad because I'm about because I I have to use my last heal because I don't want to get one shot by Yamato. Uh, this island in front of me is is not tall enough to block me from being spotted. I see Grozovoy over there. Um, Napoleon's search burst is actually not that bad, so I can get my turrets around in fairly decent time to get a shot out. But, my dispersion is not good, and my aim is worse, so that is not happening. Grozovoy, however, instead of and instead of utilizing the fast shell velocity it has over Shimakaze, and trying to help with the other caps, he's opted to chase down the Shimakaze, which I don't completely understand. Maybe that, I, I can't see exact distances on this map, but maybe there were five... 0.5 kilometers apart, and Grozovoy thought he could chase Shimakaze down. I think our Shimakaze has gone unspotted right now. Okay, never mind, he's just fired. Because I, it, it would explain why Grozovoy is turning away. But Shimakaze is definitely opened up now. Trading heavily for it, and he clips Grozovoy for the final kill. I do not realize Yamato is fully turned, so I'm actually spotted now by the Yamato. But because of the Girls War kill, we're only 40 points away from winning, 35, so I, I know I just need to keep angling for a bit, and I'll survive, which is great, because there's 18 seconds left in the match before we take out on points, and surely Yamato can't deal that much damage in 18 seconds, right? So 6 seconds left on the match timer. Last shot out, and that's game.